Hi there. In this video, I would like to walk you through ECOS, which is short for ESET Cloud Office Security. The goal is to show you how to onboard a new tenant. ECOS is a fully native cloud security product designed to protect Microsoft 365 tenant mailboxes, as well as OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, and SharePoint Online. Now in this latest release, we're also adding support for Google Workspace services, specifically security for Gmail and Google Drive. As a true integrated cloud email security, or ISIS, ESA Cloud Office Security connects to cloud resources via vendors' native API, which allows ECOS to scan emails and files and check them for malware, spam, or phishing. ESA Cloud Office Security is part of the ESA Protect platform in the complete and elite tiers, where it complements our award-winning modern endpoint protection and server protection, just to name a few. Let's dive in and see what it looks like. First, we are greeted by the login screen, where we log in with our credentials. Once we enter the email and the password, and press login. Okay, now that we're logged in, we're greeted by the default page, which is the uh, dashboard. And normally, when you're setting up a new uh, ESA Cloud Office security, and uh, you will be prompted by a pop-up window, and uh, just going to ask you to add a new tenant, uh, because we already have uh, a Microsoft 365 tenant registered here in order to demonstrate the uh, multi-tenancy capabilities of uh, ECOS, uh, we don't have it here. So we have to go and add the new tenant manually. So let's navigate onto settings in the uh, left sidebar. And this page lists all the registered tenants here. So as you can see, we already have one here. Now let's click on to add tenant. And this stage is going to ask us to select which site, uh, which could be, let's say, a brand of your company that has uh, licenses tied to it. So we'll select the first one here. And as you can see, uh, you can choose between Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace uh, tenant at this time. So let's go ahead and click on the Google Workspace, as you can see the uh, steps, the onboarding steps uh, change accordingly. So we're going to follow this. So once we uh, click on this link, it is going to open the uh, Google Workspace uh, Marketplace. And this is the uh, ESA Cloud Office Security app. Uh, since we already have this uh, installed, we're not going to install it again. But keep in mind, you have to be log in, logged in as the admin. And once you are and you hit install, the uh, Ecos app is installed onto your Google Workspace. Once it is installed, we can navigate back into our Ecos console. We can click on this button down here, which says provide Google account and add tenant. And this serves as a verification step. So once you click on it, you will see uh, a pop-up like this. And this is where I logged in. We'll just select the admin account. And this verifies that, yes, we are actually owners of that, uh, of that tenant. Now the uh, tenant registration starts, and as you can see, it was pretty quick. And in the next step, once we click on next, we can select which users or groups um, or even the entire tenant we can actually protect. So in this, uh, in this case, we're going to select the entire tenant and hit protect uh, down right here. And voila, we're all set. Once we click on close, you can see in your settings that we now have uh, two tenants registered. And based on this icon on the left uh, side of the uh, domain name, you can see what kind of tenant it is. Uh, the first one is Microsoft 365. The second one is uh, Google Workspace. Uh, so in the top bar, something which might be really interesting for you is you can actually change the theme of the console. And since I prefer a uh, dark theme, I'm going to select that right here and click on save changes. Now with the dark theme setup, let's go back to dashboard where we can see some high level statistics. We can adjust the uh, time period. So let's see everything from the past seven days. We can specify which tenant we want to see it for. 
any event. So like the individual service. So these are the statistics for GMAP for the last seven days. For Google Drive. Or even he said LifeGuard Advanced, which is our uh, online sandbox. If you like what you see and you're interested uh, to learn more information, please uh, do not hesitate to contact your local ESET partner and they might be able to offer you a free trial as well. Thank you.